Welcome to the Nagakde apartment tour. Ooh, maybe I should shower and clean up and we'll meet back in five. Okay, now welcome to the Nagakde apartment tour. So let's go all the way up to the front door. Whoa. And of course, like every Japanese apartment, there's a little Gankon area to take off your shoes. And this apartment's cool because I have a little shoe cabinet. Um, unfortunately, yep, yep. Unfortunately, my shoes are too big, so they all have to go sideways instead of inside. And on top is great because that's where I can keep all the trash. So, and then when you first walk in, you have the kitchen area, and I will turn on the light. And sorry for the clutter, I just cleaned up really fast and didn't put dishes away. So, here's my sink and my stove. I got a gas burner this time around. And then these look familiar. I had these same silverware and plates and bowls and everything when I was in the Niigata apartment. Plates as well. There's my coffee that I have to kind of brew by hand, which you saw earlier in the video. And ooh, an onion. So, and I have the cool Japanese microwave that senses things. And on top, of course, I have my little toaster oven that burns everything. And I was really lucky I got kind of a newer apartment only one other teacher has lived in this apartment before me and he was here for a year he took really good care of things so everything's still in good condition this is a fridge what do I have what do I have I don't cook a lot at home so I just have like cheese and then like this thing is kind of like a hangover cure so my friend swears by this I have yet to try it but um I have this for later this is Japanese sake, Nihonshu. So, and then of course like some eggs and some drinks and a little bit of pineapple, which pineapple is surprisingly inexpensive in Japan and all the other fruits tend to be expensive. And then in the bottom I have the freezer, which basically has nothing in it, some potatoes and um, some trash that's like organic. So I didn't want to just throw it in the trash can. So I was just gonna freeze for a minute. My lovely washing machine. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I got clothes kind of drying on it right now. So, super easy. All you have to do is push this button and this button, add detergent and put the clothes in and everything works out. I'm about to lose my sock. It's, oh no, it's gonna commit suicide. Oh, stay on there. Stay on that plate. Woo, okay. They're gonna stay dry. And then I have like a little storage area. So on top I have food. Ooh, so one of the teachers at the new school, sadly, she is leaving. She is uh, going to Canada for like a work study abroad. So she got me a little omiyage, which was super nice because I didn't, haven't known her that long. And then rice. And because I came from Niigata, of course I have to buy Niigata rice. And then just storage and crap like that. Laundry detergent. And then I am a traveling teacher, so my luggage is always close by. And then, ooh, 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 let's go back. Let's go back. We have to go back for a minute. Ooh, something spectacular is gonna happen. Let me, let me flip this so I can see what I'm doing. Make sure I'm not pointing towards the wall. So here's the door. What's behind the door? Well, you've seen the kitchen, and you've seen the Gankon area, and I forgot to show you the bathroom, which we'll do in a second. But let's go to the main room. You go to the main room by opening this door, which is. Raw. The light makes it even more special. It's like angelic. So let's come in into kind of, it's a small but cozy space. So it comes with a little desk and a rice cooker, which is rice cooker. Um, as you can see, I had to clean the little basin for it. So I just use this. Um, but it's still in really good condition because the person who lived here before me, um, you can tell I really took care of everything. And a little desk so I can do stuff, but I'm too fat for the chair, I think. So I'm afraid. Then we're... What's this? Oh no, it's my closet. This is probably the worst you're gonna see. It's a little cluttered. Little cluttered. So, but up top I have stuff that I probably shouldn't have brought with me and should have just left in storage. And then on the ground right there, those are actually supposed to go to dry cleaning, but I'm too lazy, so I just shoved them in the closet and be like, yeah, I'll deal with it next time. So that's the lovely closet. So surprisingly it can fit a lot, except for my my sleeve got stuck. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. You are kind of expensive, so don't don't okay. 
not really that expensive, but for me, expensive. So behind me, you have the futon. Ooh, my Las Vegas pillows. I have Vegas pillows. So I brought those from home so I could feel like I'm at home or I'm asleep. So when you go to sleep and you wake up and then you like go look in the mirror and it says Vegas in your face, like a little imprint of Vegas. So it feels like home. <laughs> So, and that I roll out when I'm ready to go to bed. Um, I have a TV and like a little fire hazard going on right here with all the cords and extension cords, but because I travel, I chose to get pocket Wi-Fi, which doesn't work very well, but, um, and then I have to charge everything. So charge all my devices. And on top of that, I have to charge the TV and then my laptop. So I kind of need that little area, but don't worry, I'm not gonna burn the place down. But in the main room, there's that outlet and this outlet. Hence why the rice cooker is in here because there aren't any outlets in the kitchen area. This is a balcony. So if you come to visit me, well, if you come to visit me in the next couple weeks, this will be the view that you would see. But I won't be here very long. So yeah, cool little balcony. Guy walking. Oh, there's a bus stop. That'll take you to Fujigaoka. So super convenient. Um, and let's turn around and let's go back into the area back here because I forgot to tell, totally show you some important stuff. So, and I must apologize. My shower room, this is the, but this is the light for the shower room. Hmm, let's come to this. So earlier this morning when I went to take a shower, I went to turn it on and the light bulb blew. So uh, we can turn on this light. So this is kind of like my, ooh, look, my, my shirt's all hanging up. You can see my look like Britney Spears in the, in the mid-2000s. So, like all my stuff, and I apologize, it's a little cluttered, but, you know, I'm a man. I got a lot of stuff that I got to do to get pretty. So, but here is the shower. It's all one room, the toilet's separate. Um, oh, you can actually kind of see if I move. I don't know how to do this. So that's the shower. <laughs> shower area and a bathtub. And right behind me in this magic door is the toilet. So exciting. Look, there's the toilet. It even has a spray thing. So you can like have water shoot up at your butt and get it clean. So that's, that's kind of nice. And I think that's it for the apartment tour. Um, this is the circuit breaker. So don't forget to subscribe and follow Orange and visit followorange.com. Bye.